Hi, I am here to answer two questions as part of Hype Sri Lanka's Disability Awareness Campaign 2020. The first question I got was whether all disabilities are visible and physical. Well, in my case, I do have a physical disability, which is this little stumpy arm that I have. But by just looking at me, you may not be able to say that I also have invisible disabilities. Invisible disabilities could be sensory disabilities, like persons who are deaf or blind. It could be learning difficulties, uh, including people on the autism spectrum. It could be psychosocial disabilities, so related to mental health. Uh, and it could also be issues like long-term illness, chronic pain, and chronic illness. So you can't really necessarily say if a person is experiencing a disability just by looking at them. And similarly, not all people with impairments may necessarily identify as persons with disabilities. No, because in my capacity as a director for Ashinsa, an organization working for children and youth with disabilities, we work with so many people with disabilities who are not just physically disabled or physically impaired, but who are also intellectually and mentally challenged. So it is a false claim to say that only people with physically physical disabilities are truly disabled. Do I think only people with physical impairments are truly disabled? No. I think disability is something that, that can come um, as a result of physical impairments, as a result of mental impairments, and also, and also maybe as a result of psychological impairments. So, no, not just physical impairments. I believe that the word disabled encompasses more than just physical ailments and it should include mental as well. The unfortunate truth is that we only acknowledge the physical ailments because it's what's easy to see with an naked eye. But in actual fact, there's a lot of mental ailments and mental disabilities that we may not be aware of.